rabbits are generally considered to be pets. This does not need to be the case for aspiring rabbit farmers. The rabbit king, Javeth, shares more with us on this. My name is Javeth Atundo from Rabbit Empire Limited. Eh? We, I, I am on the line of production in the company. Uh, we, I'm not alone, we have uh, people I'm working with to develop matters rabbit in Kenya. We started this project some four or five years ago. We have done research about uh, rabbit keeping. Unfortunately, people have undermined the rabbits. People take it as a, a, boyish, a boyish exercise, but uh, we are coming here to demonstrate to people that it is very possible that you can rear rabbits, and then we develop econom economically as much as it improves our health. Some people ask why rabbits, why not dairy? Why not chicken? Why not any other product? And we are coming to tell people that uh, rearing rabbit is very easy. Number one. Number two, rabbits are friendly to space. We don't need a very big portions of land to do rabbits. Right now, you see that our population is growing. We have been subdividing our land, and now we are all, uh, having a lot of pressure on land. So we need a project that we can be able to do that can give, can give you maximum yield on a very small piece of land and rabbit for that matter is very ideal for that matter. Number two, rabbits are very pro prolific. They give birth, by the way, the way God create, created rabbits, they can give birth every month. But under our controlled system, we only allow the rabbit to give birth once in two months, six times in a year. Every time they litter, the rabbits are able to give you a minimum of six. They can do even 12 or even 14. They can give you at one time 12 to 14. But uh, in our company, we, we do our estimates on a worst case scenario of six. And then rabbits mature very fast. In six months time, your, your rabbit is ready for, for food and also it's ready for breeding. That is one of the advantages we are taking on doing rabbit production. Now, after we deliver the rabbits and we do a short training, we give the farmer three days. We do what we call acclimatization. We want that those rabbits, because they have come from a different place, for them to get used to the new environment. That's what we call acclimatization. It is something that takes three days. Once you've done acclimatization, we recommend that the farmer starts breeding. Because we bring mature rabbits, we don't bring small rabbits. So on your farm, immediately after three days, you start, you start do, doing breeding, you mate the rabbits. And in this case, you, you take the female rabbits, whom we call the doe, to the male rabbit whom we call the buck. It takes only 15 seconds for th that female rabbit to be pregnant and now you will take her back to her hatch. After, after that then you, we open a record, we, oh, we open a file for that rabbit. That file has got the date when we took the female rabbit to the male, the expected date of delivery, the actual date of delivery, the number of litter that you will be able to get. After 10, 10 days we confirm whether your rabbit is indeed pregnant or not. We have two or three ways of confirming that. One is by taking the weight. We all know that when the rabbit is pregnant, it will register quicker, uh, higher, higher, uh, higher, higher weights within a very short time because of the uh, kids in the stomach. Number two, another very good way of confirming if your rabbit is pregnant or not, you again reintroduce the female to the male. You know, rabbits are good in the way that once a rabbit senses that it is pregnant, it will never again accept a male. So that time you see a rabbit, when you take the female rabbit to the male and the female rabbit fights back or refuses the male, you know it's a, a sure way of confirming that your rabbit is pregnant. On the 23rd, now that you opened the file, you will be counting the days. Rabbits have got a gestation period of 28 days. So on the 23rd day, you will introduce something we are calling a nesting box. When you put the nesting box in that hatch, the rabbit will know that you, uh, you want her to deliver in that nest box. You will see her busy sometimes plucking part of the fur and making a lining for her kids. Uh, on the 28th day, the rabbit will give birth. And once she has given birth again, she will pluck even more fur to cover her, her litter. You may not even be able to see the litter yourself, but you will see some movement to indicate that there is life in that nest box. We allow our rabbits to breastfeed, allow me to use that word, eh? 
the, the litter for four weeks. Rabbit milk is very nutritious and after four weeks you see our rabbits are ready for winning. We win, we remove the, the, the young ones from their mother after four weeks. And that process of again making the pregnant for the second rabbit for the second time again recurs. Our rabbits are very good and we are able to breed them at intervals of four, two months every time. We breed our rabbits at intervals of two months. Our rabbit is supposed to give birth six times in a year, giving you an average litter of between six to 12, depending. Rabbits is a complete product. A complete in the sense that we do not lose anything on a rabbit. Starting from the urine and the droppings I've already explained, the skin, we have been able to turn and develop the skin. We are able to do a number of products on the skin. We are doing handbags, we are doing wallets, we are doing bed belts, we are even doing the carpets as you can see behind there. We are moving forward with this product and we are happy that people are appreciating it and it's able to change our lives economically. We are also doing sausages and samosas from rabbits. People are having a bite even behind me and you can see the expressions on their face. They are indeed enjoying it. People are in, in our hotels now, we are introducing rabbit meat as an alternative. People have been eating chicken and it's good to eat chicken. And uh, you see there's desire even for change, even to our people. So rabbit has come out as the right product to, to alternate with the chicken. Uh, uh, we are happy because people are already opening up. We are looking at the markets and now we are able to sell rabbits locally. We don't want to talk about an, an, an international order because it's a big order. We are only selling rabbits today because we have the capacity to do rabbits but locally. Because those big orders, we are, not, we are far away from uh, being able to, to, to service them. But even locally, we are also happy because uh, you can see like today, like now, uh, we, are get, we are receiving lot of orders of even up to two tons of rabbit meat. People want us to supply two tons. For you to be able to supply two tons of rabbit meat, you are supposed to slaughter around 1,000 rabbits at a given time. It becomes a, a bit tricky because, again, an individual, for an individual to supply uh, 1,000 rabbits in two weeks is a bit difficult. And that's why we are coming to the show today to do our, our exhibition and tell people that, yes, we have an opportunity here. Yes, we have a way forward. We have something alternative. Apart, apart from the job you are doing, you can as, as well still do something at the backyard of your compound and get some money out of it. So uh, on rabbits, even there are those guys who are doing dogs. Eh? You can see that now they, they recommend, they are coming even for the heads and the, and the interstiles of rabbits. Uh, we say that uh, from research, you see the head of rabbit is highest in uh, omega-3. You know, apart from other animals, apart from the salmon fish, rabbit is coming second in terms of provision of omega-3. So people are coming even to ask, apart from those who are doing dogs, people are calling for us to provide them even soup for the rabbits. So we are not able to throw anything. Uh, the intestines, have, as I've said, uh, people are doing dogs, they are coming for it, they crush it, and then they give their dogs those, that, that, that meat. So we only achieve that when through trainings, through exchange programs. We may take some farmers like from Mombasa to Nairobi to see what farmers in Nairobi are doing and then they learn something again from the farms in Nairobi and again vice versa we bring farmers from Nairobi to other parts of the country. Market was a challenge. I think I talked about the market. Unless you are able to do networking, you may not be able to sell your, your, your product. Rabbit meat and especially the market is very tricky because the market will find that they want bulk. They want you to do more, but if you do not have more, you may not be able to supply. So the secret here is that eh, you have to do networking for you to be able to achieve that market. Uh, challenge again, it, it, is, it, is, it is like any other business, you see, you need some capital. So unless somebody has some capital, they may not be able to start doing rabbit keeping professionally. You will find them trying to do it, but in a, in a, in a traditional way. Now our rabbits, when you, you, you rear them in a traditional way, again, they will not be able to give you much production. An average farmer should at least have 
10 mother rabbits on her, his or her farm. The capacity of a rabbit farm is determined by the number of mothers on that farm. So when somebody is having 10 mothers, uh, that same person is able to do, to make a profit of around 30,000 on that farm every month. Uh, I've said 10 mothers because you see, uh, initially I had said that rabbits give birth very fast. They give birth to so many. So when somebody is having 10 mothers, at a given time, time when those rabbits breed in, in, for, in a generation, you'll find them giving birth to around 80. And when we come to buy 80, like today, with the, with, the, with the worst market we are having, we are able to do live weight. We buy our rabbits live weight from our farmers, 350 shillings per kilo. And when we do 350 shillings per kilo and your rabbit is four kilo, we are able to pay that farmer 1,400. When that farmer is running a project of 10 mothers, meaning that those 10 mothers were, uh, had already given 80, 80 young ones, eh? and those young ones have come to the, to the weight of four kilos, we'll be able to buy 80 times 1,400. Again, it's a business of numbers. We tell people to start small, of course, because for them to learn. Once those people, once our farmers have started small, we encourage them to grow big. Because the more mothers you have, the bigger uh, your production, then the much money you are able to get from that farm. It's still very viable. It is still, uh, I tell farmers that this is the way to go. Because, because of, uh, you know, I've told you how they are giving birth, how they are growing very fast, how they have a, 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 the, the, the best conversion, they mature very fast, and again, the market is there waiting for us, unlike any other product. The market is already waiting for, for us to, to supply. So we will not struggle, farmers will not struggle. Our farmers are not struggling. We are doing, we are doing a contract farming with these farmers, they don't struggle getting the market. Once we slaughter, we give them their money and then they grow. So I'm advising every farmer that is watching me today that you come partner with us. We, we give you technical support. You give the financial support for your farm. But then at the end of the day, we come and buy rabbits from you. Japheth is not the only one who is maximizing their products to gain maximum output. We meet up with Lucy Chester, a vibrant woman who's defying odds to make agribusiness work for her and her group, Toweza Women with Disabilities. Lucy Chesi natoka kikundi cha wamama wenye wako na ulemavu kinaitwa tunaweza women with disabilities kikundi chetu ni cha ku, ku empower wamama wenye wako na ulemavu wapate kazi ya kufanya baada ya kuomba barabarani kwa sababu kazi kwa wakati huu ni vigumu kupata hasa kwa watu wenye wako na ulemavu na sisi tunafanya mambo mengi na tunatengeneza necklaces kutoka kwa makaratasi necklaces hapa tunatengeneza eh, mipochi bags tunatengeneza sanitary pads na tuko na mradi wa peanut butter ambao tunatengeneza peanut butter na hii peanut butter tunatengeneza kutoka kwa jogo hii peanut butter hatuongezi kitu chochote kwa hii peanut butter Hii peanut butter tunashiaga only the peanut peke yake. Hakuna chochota ambacho tuna, tuna, tunaweka ndani. Hii peanut butter machine ya kwanza ya peanut butter tulipewa na Minister of Agriculture. Machine ambayo ilikuwa inashiaga 2 kilograms of peanut butter. Tukaendelea nayo, tuka apply from the affirmative fund. 
walitununulia mashine ingine kubwa ambayo tunashaga peanut butter na tunatengeneza peanut butter hata kwa sasa hivi peanut butter yetu imeweza kufika mpaka kwa supermarket na toko kwa ukienda beach supermarket utapata our peanut butter ukienda jambo supermarket utapata our peanut butter kwa hiyo peanut butter yetu tumefika mpaka kwa uh, supermarket kitu kingine tunatengeneza tunatengeneza buys kikundi chetu tulianza kama wamama wako na ulemavu ambapo tulianza wamama kumi ya kwamba tulikuwa tunakaa na wamama wako walemavu wengi ni single mothers the lesson you have learned as a group is that um, when you have when you have a zeal or when you have you have a, a vision you need to follow it it doesn't matter what what challenge you are going to face you just need to follow your vision and also Although there are bridges on the way, so you should just uh, keep on moving, keep on moving. Do not give up. Keep on moving. Okay. Apart from peanut butter, we have peanut buys. This peanut buys ni jugu. Jugu zegine tunashaga unga wa jugu. Na this is very addition on peanut butter now. Hi tunashaga jugu. Tukona zile jugu tunashaga. Bada kushaga tunamix with sugar na tuko na zingine tuna mix with sugar tuko na zile tuna mix paka na karafu ambapo ya kwamba we are making by so that we can uh, yani tunataka peanut butter tuna add value to our peanut butter ya kwamba we can earn more than what we are getting right now na wakati mtu me introduce this by we can see the buys are moving so fast ka, ka, katika our our name our product the buys are moving very fast from here we have been learning to get to make um, cookies so the next time you come to our place utapata tuko na cookies na pia tuko na peanut butter tunapikia kwa mboga samaki ya peanut ni tamu sana eh, mchele wa peanut ni tamu sana so we make many things from peanut peanut inatumika kama mafuta ya kupikia chakula unapika matoke na peanut kama ningekuwa hapa na ndizi ningekutengenezea sandwich ya ndizi na peanut it is very sweet what we do tuna tuna roast the peanut baada ya roast the peanut tuna toa maganda kidogo we don't remove all the maganda tuna toa maganda kidogo because of the color na pia maganda iko na nutrient yeah ambayo naweka kwa kwa peanut maganda iko na magnesium sasa ambayo iko good for your bowel health maganda ya peanut butter so from maganda you get a lot of things from peanut kwa hivyo tutatoi yote na tena kwa sababu ya color yetu we want to remain in this color of peanut kwa hivyo kwa sababu ya color yetu we want to be peanut on your tongue tunaweza peanut to be different just one color kwa hivyo hiyo maganda tunatoa kidogo tuna tunaweka tunapika so for kuweka kwa mashini ya 2 kg inapiga for 25 minutes na kuweka kwa mashini ya 4 kg inapiga from 5 minutes to 10 minutes kwa hivyo tunapika haraka na tunaweza kutengeneza 200 kg in a day tunaweza 200 shilling wholesale in retail price wholesale price we sell at 65 shilling in the supermarket Uh, this peanut is 100 grams and this peanut is 200 grams this peanut we are selling at 200 shillings and uh, in the supermarket we are selling at 160 shillings now this one we are selling at 300 shillings we are selling at 350 shillings in the supermarket we are selling at 300 shillings this one here we are selling at 650 shillings in the supermarket we are selling at 100 shillings at 500 shillings i'm sorry 500 i'm i'm telling you the price that so this bike we are selling at 50 shillings 
we have also the ordinary people who come. Also, we have uh, we, ha we have started introducing to hotels like Glory Villa, Hot Glory Villa Hotel in Nyali that you see our tonight now. That is a true show of strength and resilience. We also meet Wakesho Group who deal in Amaranthus flour and from it create various ways of value addition. Wakesho deals with Amaranthus flour. We do add value on the Amaranthus grain to get the flour. Uh, the grains we buy them from Peketoni Lamu and with the Amaranthus flour it's very rich in iron and calcium. For the people who are suffering from an anemia, they are, it's very good and it helps in increasing your hemoglobin. And for the people who are suffering from constipation and the ulcers, what you do is you just cook porridge out of it, uh, take a cup of it every morning before breakfast and helps you a lot. And for people who are suffering from the weak bones, it makes the bones to be very strong. There are some children who do not like boga at home, so what we do is if you, keep your, if you cook your meat stew, you can add a little bit of the Amaranthus flour to add, uh, to add value to the meat stew to get all the nutrients of the mchicha. Aside from that, you can use the Amaranthus flour as your roiko. When you're making your meat stew, you can add a little bit so that people can get the extra nutrients of the mchicha if you don't want to cook the mchicha. The benefits of Amaranth. Amaranth is very useful because since it's rich in iron and calcium, it makes the bones to be very strong. If you have any weaknesses with your bones, make sure that amaranthus flour will help you a lot. When it comes to ulcers, people who are suffering from ulcers, it's, uh, we've, get, we've, we've gotten a lot of testimonies that ulcers are very, they are cleared due to taking of the amaranthus flour. And uh, for the people who are suffering from diabetics and pressure, it stabilizes it when you take the porridge. And for the people who are suffering from a lot of constipation, it helps a lot. Apart from the meat stew. And because uh, there are some people who have told us instead of them uh, cooking the mchisha aside, they can normally even use it in the kideris. Yes, you get all the nutrients of the mchicha in your kederi. So uh, for them, it has been a good product to them. It helps a lot. This is virgin coconut oil. It's very rich in lauric and, and mauric acid. The virgin coconut oil, it helps a lot to the cancer people. Uh, cancer people have a lot of abnormal cells. And since this product has is rich in lauric and mauric acid. It reduces all the abnormal cells in your body when you take it. For example, you can take this uh, product uh, three times a day. You can take three tablespoons in the morning, three tablespoons during lunchtime, then three tablespoons in the evening. And it, you take it before meals. It helps a lot. And for people who are suffering from asthma, I've been a testimony, I have asthma. It has helped me a lot. If, um, if I experience a lot of dust around, I just take a tablespoon every morning or in the evening when I know that I'm not feeling well, I just take it and it helps me a lot. And for, uh, for the memory, it's very good. It has helped all the Alzheimer's, the people who are suffering from Alzheimer's, it helps a lot. When you just take a tablespoon every day, it gives all your memory back. And for the people who have tooth decay, it really helps a lot. It kills all the, all, the tooth, all the tooth decays. It helps a lot. So it's been a very good product to everybody. Not really on children, even on the grown-ups. So it helps a lot. What we do is we buy the coconuts from Kwale or at Kaloleni. When we bring them, what we do is we take the coconut, um, we squeeze the coconut milk out of it and after that we ferment it we ferment it for around three days 
and after the fermentation we get this oil you can see how clear it is it's very 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 good it helps a lot so what i can advise people is that use this program it will help a lot it will help your children to help the the people that to you around home it will help a lot we faced a lot of challenges right now the coconuts are scarce uh, it's the coconuts are in, on demand everywhere in fact right now i've been told that coconuts are being sold at rwanda at 500 shillings so you can imagine how demand the coconut is right now everywhere all over the world so what i can say is that for right now this product has become more expensive because the coconut has become so scarce what we, what we are trying to say is that we want the government to give us a hand at least they can help us get more coconuts here so that they can help us pro produce more virgin coconut oil. Through the, uh, the county government, through the, uh, the agriculture, we, I have said that through my testimony, I can see that these products have made us market them. Right now, in, in fact, we are wishing to be worldwide because I know the county government of Mombasa are willing to help us to sell our product like the virgin coconut oil, the virgin coconut oil at Russia and other parts of the world. So um, we thank God the far we have gone because we've, uh, we've marketed our products because they are doing well nationally. When we started, we started in a very small place in an area at Kisauni, VOK. Uh, we started in a, a small space and uh, we got a lot of challenges because we didn't, we didn't have a bigger area for more production. What we did is we got help from different people, mainly from the agriculture and mainly from the county government. So at least right now we are in a bigger area, but still we need a bigger more area because our production is becoming more and more bigger. Um, like right now, I have a shop at uh, Freer Town. I normally sell my products there so at least i've widened the, our market different areas especially in the kisauni area so i can see i can see i can say that i'm proud i'm proud of our products because they are doing well people are giving us testimony that they are working with them and they need more of this product through uh, the county government and through the agriculture um, ministry at least we've gotten an idea of how to improve our products through standardization. In fact, our products have all the, uh, all the KEBS mark. So at least we know that our product is becoming more and more um, qualified. Yes, and um, I know that one day that since we've got the KEBS mark, we'll produce more and more products that will be taken as far as even USA in the near future. A packet of Amaranth Asla, we sell it at 200 shillings currently. And um, a bottle of the virgin coconut oil goes for 700 shillings. And uh, the Amaranth grains, if you need them, we're selling them at 50 shillings right now. Right now, we are currently at the ASA show, Mombasa. But if you want to get our products, we are situated at the VOK, just next to the Kisauni Polytechnic. We have our products there, and we are currently at the um, supermarket. There's one, uh, one, there's one supermarket that we are trying our level best to sell our products there. But so far, last year, our products were at the VOK stage supermarket. You can get us from the website, I have my mobile number. You can reach me at 0733315668. When we come back from the break, find out more on spices and herbs you can grow at home anywhere in the world.